Hey, what's up, guys? Totally dubbed here, and today I'm going to show you how to flash over um, XXELLA. Um, it's a new um, firmware, 4.1.2, which was released by Samsung. And the good thing about this one, it's got a huge change list, and loads of people are saying that it's fixing the the MEM um, bug that was um, present on the Exynos 4 chips. So first of all I want to go through a few things. What you want to do is first take out your battery cover, I'll show you why in a second. And uh, secondly I want to go through the flash counter because some people are having some trouble with the flash counter and so I just want to go through it and I'm actually going to reset my counter. So as you can see my current status uh, of the counter is 24, it's uh, binary and system is custom. So what I'm going to do is actually um, reflash it. Uh, by that I mean reflash is reset it. So I am on a custom ROM at the moment. Um, custom ROM, uh, Darky ROM V8.3, and um, it has a custom kernel uh, installed as well. So um, let's just see how this goes. Uh, usually it should uh, reboot the device if I'm not mistaken. Right, so I hadn't uh, rebooted the device. So what I'm going to do is power off and go into um, download mode just to show you if it has or hasn't done uh, the flashing and by the flashing I mean the resetting of the counter right so there you guys you can see the counter is reset um, it is now Samsung official with system status is official custom binary downloaders no even though I've still got darky ROM in there uh, with Sia's kernel so as you can see that's my flash counter right now um, and the actual things right there so that shows that it's a, uh, um, a genuine version of Samsung's uh, firmware installed which obviously isn't so what I'm going to do is go straight into recovery as I'm in a cu as a custom ROM what I'm going to do is do a full factory um, wipe and I would suggest doing this even if you're on a stock ROM uh, simply because this will avoid problems however people are reported to have no problems with wiping uh, we're doing a no wipe installation via Odin uh, because uh, when you flash via Odin with PDA it will not wipe your system so I'm wiping uh, data factory reset wipe cache I'm going to wipe Dalvik as well just for the heck of it um, and then I'm going to also uh, go into mount storage and format my SD card so now as you can see I've uh, fully formatted that and what I want to do is actually pop out the battery uh, because we don't, as you factory reset it, it will reboot into the ROM and reload the things. So what I'm doing is popping out the battery. I'm going to pop it back in. And this time, go force it into download mode. So hold those three buttons down. There you go. And as you can see, I'm still with the official and whatnot. Uh, we can pop the battery pack back, uh, battery back, back in. And what we're going to do is go on Odin on the PC and uh, show you uh, what to do. Pretty simple and pretty straightforward, in all honesty. So, go up here. So, as you can see, I've got my file that I've downloaded, which is a zip file. You can download this via XDA. <laughs> via Faryab or Perka's file stash. Uh, I downloaded via Perka's file stash. So you can see I'm just zooming in just a little bit so you can see this uh, version over here. So what I'm going to do is open up Odin. So you want to download Odin separately and run as administrator just in case you aren't. And here you go, I've got Odin open up. I'm going to hit PDA, go into where it is, which is my desktop, and find the file. Put that and leave it there. So now you've got the file right there. And now I'm going to connect up my Galaxy S3 to my computer. And you'll be able to see that it is uh, installing the software, uh, installing the Galaxy S3, as you can see, just in the corner right there, because obviously I did a full wipe. So usually the PC does that. But once it's recognized, it will pop up over here. So I can close that now. Also, what I will show you in this video is flashing over uh, CF root. Um, I'm going to choose CF root 6.4. Uh, however, there is auto root as well, um, auto CF root, uh, which you can choose as well. But I want that custom recovery, uh, whereas auto CF root doesn't have that. So, as you can see, it's COM3 right there. And what I'm going to just do is hit start. Usually, Odin uh, 3v3.4 always freezes um, no matter what happens. It goes not, res not responding as you can see there and then it will start after a given amount of time um, there you go as it's starting right now so it's doing its thing 
So I just want to uh, show you a um, couple of posts. Uh, first of all, uh, Dead Soul over here had a nice little post uh, on XDA, which I'll link down in the description. And there's a positives and negatives of um, this uh, ROM. Um, the main thing, actually, the uh, people are reporting the Exynos exploit has been fixed. That's the biggest thing. Um, he's saying that the ROM is smoother. Uh, it's uh, the recent app page. Multitask doesn't seem to forget what apps you have. Um, and the dialer and contacts takes less time to open, uh, which was a big thing that I, I actually found that was quite significantly slow. Uh, however, there's other things which aren't really looked at or haven't been fixed, such as the widget uh, drawer still lags, home button is still stupidly assigned to S voice, which obviously I'm going to get rid of straight away. Uh, multitask with games is still broken, launcher still redraws, one finger expand notification are still not present, and contact phone still takes a little bit of while to open. So, thanks to Dead Soul for pointing that out. Um, I will link this down in the description. Uh, however, that's his feedback. Don't take it for golden, don't take my advice for golden, but that's, that's what he said, so you guys can uh, view that. Also, I've got Chainfire's post over here. He had a um, thing about flashing the firmware with CF Auto Root, followed by Triangle Way, and he said the exclamation mark is gone. Apparently, um, Samsung have added an additional um, exclamation mark uh, as soon as you root or whatnot to show that it is not unofficial so um, he's done CF auto root over here uh, I'm gonna do CF uh, root 6.4 so I'm gonna try that see if it works or not and see um, what actually does it so going back to the um, Odin as you can see it's still going on it's gonna take maybe about a minute or two to finish so I will get back to you guys after it's done Right, so as you can see, it has finished. So what I'm going to do is unplug the phone and go down to the phone itself. So here we go. Uh, this is basically set up. I'm going to turn off Wi-Fi because I don't need that. Or don't have that, should I say. There we go. As you can see, I have now booted up. Just to show you my settings. There you go. As you can see, that's the what I'm getting 4.1.2 XXE LLA uh, build number and baseband so what I'm going to do is just quickly see the software update to see actually if it if it actually does anything if there's any software updates actually going to take present in the Play Store if we go in got all of these which haven't been updated Let's go OK. See if there's any software update now. There we go. So that's that. So um, what I'm going to do now, as I want root, is to install um, uh, Triangle Away and um, Super SU. But before doing that, obviously, I'm going to have to flash over um, CF Auto Root or CF Root 6.4. So I'm going to do is CF Root 6.4. So I'm going to do is switch off the phone and just show you that I have got a uh, still that official um, official count so let's check that out so as you can see I am still on um, uh, custom binary no Samsung official Samsung official so I can you can see that I'm still there and what I'm going to do is leave it in download mode because what we're going to do is go for CF root and uh, we need that to on, we need that on download mode. So again, I'm going to reopen Odin, and I'm going to go into my folder for S3, get CF root. As you can see, it's a flashing file to do on um, Odin. So I'm going to open hit PDA, desktop CF root, and what I'm going to do is connect up my phone. And there you go, you can see it's connected, so this should flash really quickly. And there we go, it's passed, and now the phone is rebooting. I'm just going to let it reboot and then open it up. And I'm going to go back into download mode to show you that, and also use triangle way to see the uh, counter and whatnot. Right, so now I've got Android is upgrading, so I'm going to unplug my phone. Close Odin.
There you go. So we should be able to see Super SU. There you go. And as you can see, I am now rooted. Um, so now what I'm going to do is get Triangle away. So you can see Triangle away is downloading its thing. Right, so there we go. It says status cannot be determined, needs to reboot in, in special boot mode. Tap reset flash counter to do that. So what I'm going to do now is go into download mode again and show you again um, what is given and to see if CF root 6.4 affected that. So going straight into download mode with a three button combo. And there you go, you guys can see that I've got yes as one count right there. And you can see I'm in custom and custom. So now I'm going to reboot the device and use triangle away again. So all I'm going to do is reset flash counter. And it's rebooting now. And as you can see there's a little exclamation mark right there. Um, and as you can see it was just a um, custom thing so I'm going to go up to reset the counter and this time it's gone so you can saw there was a little exclamation mark there and that's basically Samsung's way of saying there's a custom some, some sort of custom ROM installed on it but just to uh, double check with you guys um, I'm gonna go into download mode again and check that and there we go so you got confirmation via video that triangle way does work with the latest firmware and you can see no official official and so as you can see I was on CF root 6.4 that I flashed um, but you can alternatively flash CF auto root as well which doesn't come with a custom recovery um, actually talking about recovery I'm gonna go into recovery right now force it into recovery right now as you can see that exclamation mark is back but you can see I've got that CF root and sorry CF root that CF root has worked and I've got the custom um, recovery right there hey again um, I just w I didn't want to leave without confirming about this um, Exynos uh, for abuse. So as you can see, I am unrooted now. I'm back on stock. So what I'm going to do is try and do that. And as you can see, the Exynos abuse fails to root. Therefore, I cannot um, cannot root the device. In other words, the, um, the Exynos um, mem leak has been in 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 principle fixed. Uh, just to show you, I am on stock, as you can see, and also. I am on device status normal so therefore I've got everything on stock everything's factory resetted uh, there's no CF root installed I've got no root um, over here as you can see Exodus mem checker is still finding um, still finding that problem but um, I actually rather no offense but rather trust uh, Chainfire with this one and say well I try and root the device and it doesn't do it. Normally this would do it if um, I was able to um, exploit it. But anyway guys, I hope um, I hope this um, video helps you and um, there is just a little quick confirmation of um, the Exynos Abuse V1.4 right there. Alright guys, take care. Bye bye.